Hello everyone. It's good to see you again. If you remember well, in our last videos we talked about paraphrasing and overview in writing task 1. And if you remember, we took an example of this bar chart in which we talked about finding the trends, increasing and decreasing trend, uh, and we looked at the production and consumption of potatoes as an example. We found that the production increased over the period how are the consumption decreased in today's video we are not going to discuss that we are going to find what is more than the other like we are going to look if the production is more or the consumption is more so if you see in this chart they, these bars are for consumption while these are for the production this bar is outstanding it is of consumption here the consumption is more than the production while if you look at this this states the production of potatoes here the production is more so we are going to make the sentences on the production and con consumption which is highest in 2001 and 2003 so i have written the sentences over here and the starting sentence is the one which we used in our last video In our last video, we wrote the overview of increasing and decreasing trends. And if you remember, we wrote it as overall it is clear that while the production increased dramatically, increased means it went up over the period. And look at the chart. Here is the production, and it increased over the period. And another sentence which we wrote was there was a considerable decrease in the consumption over the period. And it states that the consumption decreased over the period so if we look at the chart here is the consumption which went down over the time period so if you remember you can uh, write this sentence in uh, your writing task one but we are not going to focus on this the main focus of uh, our uh, today's video is on the maximum and minimum trends so we saw that here the consumption is maximum and in the last year the production is maximum so we are going to change this data in sentences look at the board i have started this sentence with noticeably this is a word and we can say it uh, as a connector it is a connector that we use to connect the sentences and we also use it to put emphasize on something so here the word is noticeably which means the things that we are going to write in the sentences are easy to notice if you see in the chart these bars are easy to notice in the data so i have written the word noticeably then i have written that consumption of potatoes was maximum in initial year initial means starting year so if you see the consumption here the consumption is maximum in the starting year and the next sentence is whereas maximum production of potatoes was witnessed in the last year so production was maximum in last year here we have the bar of production and it is maximum in last year another interesting thing in this sentence is i have changed the sentences i have not written the same sentences if you see the consumption was maximum here i have written maximum production was witnessed i have changed the sentences so the one way to write in this way is to cram and learn these sentences we are going to use these same sentences over and over again in our tasks so learn this way of varying the sentences as we talked in our last video we have to make two different sentences one for describing the increase and decrease one for describing maximum and minimum if you see we have made the those two sentences so here our overview is complete we are not lacking behind of anything so in this way i need you to write the overview we are not left with anything we have described the years and trends and we have described even the production and it's not over yet don't get excited video is not over let's have a recap of everything that we have done if you remember our first step is paraphrasing in writing task 1 which means changing the given statement using our own words and using our own verbs but the sense of the sentence must not be changed another sentence 
sorry another step is writing an overview writing an overview is giving an outlook of the data in two or three sentences without actually describing the data so in this we describe general trends and different changes in the chart we learned different phrases that are used before starting an overview like it is clear that it is obvious that it is evident that it is crystal clear that from an overall perspective but we use the word overall before starting an overview it's the second step firstly we write paraphrasing and after leaving one line of the sheet we start writing an overview these are the first two steps of writing task 1 and it's not over yet we have two more steps that are yet to complete and without these two paragraphs a writing task 1 is totally incomplete we can't get more than 4 or 4.5 okay so another two steps are two body paragraphs body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 so in these body paragraphs we actually describe the data means if you see in the videos we wrote overview we just described the increase and decrease the maximum and the minimum data but we didn't actually give the right data of the given chart like we didn't describe how much was the production in this year we just described that it was maximum but as it is approximately 7 we didn't write it was 7 million tons in 2001 so we didn't describe that in an overview we are required to describe each and every percentage number and data in body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 here in these paragraphs we are supposed to describe everything if something is maximum how much maximum if something is minimum how much is it minimum so in these body paragraphs we are supposed to write everything so don't go somewhere we are going to make two or three sentences using the same chart and we will look how to describe the data in body paragraph 1 and body body paragraph 2 and don't forget to compare the data even in body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 in these two paragraphs also we can use the connectors like noticeably additionally as compared to in comparison with they are really important to be used in body paragraphs there are some things that must be kept in the mind before writing body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 so let's see what are those things that are really really important that needs to be remembered before writing body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 you are not going to learn those things from anywhere but they are so important so the first thing there are key things to remember so the first and foremost thing that is really necessary in describing the data is to drive the data according to the overview there are some students who do not know what to write in body paragraph 1 and what to write to write in body paragraph 2 so you are not going to face trouble after watching this video so how to drive the data what is the meaning of driving the data driving the data means making overall progression in the data okay so let's take the example of this chart in our body paragraph 1 you are not going to write this bar this year first no you are not going to do this mistake you are not going to describe this first this is totally illogical so how to drive the data according to the overview is you stated about the consumption and production which was maximum so here consumption is maximum their production is maximum but as i said we can't start from here we need to start from here but we are going to start with the point that we wrote in an overview so we wrote this so drive the data according to the overview i am going to describe this thing first 
after that i will describe the change in another year and then i will describe the third year and the changes that occurred in the data okay so whenever i will describe all the things when i when i will come to this point i will describe everything that the production was maximum over here so first key point is to drive according to the overview write according to the overview so state those things first which you wrote in the overview because it is going to connect to your body paragraphs with the overview another point is compare the given information that is really important if you are not going to do the comparison in the data then you are going to lose marks in task achievement below the statement we are given the guidelines the guideline is summarize the information by selecting and reporting main features and make comparisons where relevant so comparisons are important to be made where they are relevant so in the start we are going to compare what we are going to compare we are not going to compare the years but the data is all about production and consumption of potatoes so we are going to compare the production and consumption in different years so look at the data find what we need to compare if we are given the data about boys and girls participation in something so we are going to compare the participation of boys and girls in different sports so there are lots of examples we, which we will discuss in our further videos so just remember these points first drive according to overview then compare the given data don't forget to compare the data so third is divide the data logically so as you can see we have to write body paragraph 1 and body paragraph 2 so it's important to divide the data for we need to be having different type of data for body paragraph 1 and for body paragraph 2 so how to divide that so the major thing is that i think you need to consider is divide the data according to the different trends instead of dividing it according to the data like if if we have production and consumption i am not going to divide the data on the basis of production and consumption like i am going to describe production in one bp and the consumption is in another bp in bp 2 uh, so that's totally illogical because in this way we are not comparing the production and consumption we are just stating the production in three different years in one bp and the consumption in one bp so there are no comparisons so data must be divided the way it looks logical and comprehensive to the examiner here we are not going to describe the production separately and consumption separately this is the illogical way of dividing the data so describe the overview first the trends that we discussed in overview must be written firstly then you need to remember compare the information and the information must be divided according to the way it is presented to you so so the thing that i want you to remember is this is the main part that is looked by the examiner the examiner is going to look at how the way you organize the information organization is important so dividing means organizing comparing means describing the changes and driving means making the progression so these are the things that examiner note more than any other things so remember these things you are not going to learn this in, in one practice you need to do a lot of practice you need to look at so many charts so that you can learn how to divide a different type of data and what we need to compare from where we need to start and from where we need to end the data so thanks for watching the video if you like the video press the like button and if you dislike the video you can press the dislike button also i am not going to feel disappointed and if you have any reviews you can send the reviews uh, below in the comment section and if you want some another videos you can message me directly i have an instagram account uh, the username is i sukhdeep official you can follow me on instagram and put on your inquiries if you have